Hello, hello. Happy Friday, everyone. It's Tracy from Gift Basket Appeal. How y'all doing? And... Bill. <laughs> Bill, you sound so excited. And we are just coming on today on this Friday. Because what better day than to craft on a Friday, right? But then again, every day is a good day to craft. So let's see who's coming on here. See if y'all can hear me okay on here. Just let me know if you can hear me and you can see clearly on here as well. Hey, Alice Walker. That's a famous author, Alice Walker. Hey, Trisha, how are you? Or Trish. Man, the comments are going by so fast. So Bill is over here hooking up the TV right now so I can, I can really see y'all chatting. Asia Rutledge is in the house. Or in the craft room, I should say. Kim Dixon, how are you doing? Joanne Gilbertson, I'm glad you were able to make it. Hi from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Bill, Brenda is here. From, Hi, Brenda. From Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Crystal Talbert is here. Van Mingo is in the craft house today. <laughs> I know, right? It's, it's, it's supposed to be a craft room, but, you know, it's a craft house. So let me show you what I'm doing. I'm so addicted to this paper right now. This is the uh, polka dots and stripes paper. Um, I'm going to be doing two cards. I hope y'all can hang around with me while we do two uh, greeting cards. Something fun and, and pretty easy too. So Bill is here. He's just really quiet right now because he's trying to hook up the TV. So we've had a, a really busy day. We are doing good. Thanks for asking all of you who are asking about us. Oh, Teresa, you, Teresa said, I ordered the polka dot and stripes paper and you love it. Awesome. Shireen, how are you? We're doing good. Yeah, this is the polka dots and stripe paper. But many of you have asked about um, this paper right here. We talked about it. Uh, it's a it's a smooth cardstock, and it's it's 100 sheets, and you get I think 20 different colors in there. I think 20 different colors. So I've been on a card making frenzy. Um, this is a good way to add a six by six. It's a premium cardstock, and it's super, it's called Super Assorted. So I did go and add this to the store. Many of you said you would like to have this. So we've got um, a couple of new papers in our store, or new cardstock. So y'all can go and check it out. But we're going to be making some cards today. And I'm going to be using the polka dots and stripes. And so I'm going to make this card. And it's not much stamping anyway. I went ahead and stamped some stuff out. And this is called um, these cute little things here. I showed this in another video. It's called Happy Notes to Share. And it's from Natural Life, naturallife.com. And Joanne uh, sent these to me, my crafty friend Joanne. And I've been addicted to making cards out of these. So I wanted to share uh, two card ideas with you today. So hopefully, who's up to hanging out with me today, <laughs> this afternoon? You know what, Trisha? I love this paper. Actually, both of these are kind of mix and match. So with 100 sheets, 6 by 6 it's a 65-pound weight. To me, it didn't seem as heavy as this one even though both of these are 65 pound weight. So I just want to make you aware of that. But you can still use this for your card making. Look at all of the colors. 
all of the colors. So I think it's pretty economical too. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started here. Rosalind Lloyd said she was the first thumbs up. Thank you for the thumbs Thank up. Thank you, Rosalind. So Bill is back here. What happened with the TV, babe? Just couldn't work? No, we were supposed to do that on the phone first. Oh, okay. Then. Oh, no problem. We'll have to learn. I'll, you have to teach me. We're still new at this thing. Teach yourself. <laughs> you got to teach yourself? Yes. Yeah, so um, let me go ahead. I'm just going to cut this down because when you pull this out of the happy notes here, you just kind of rip it out like this. And so if you wanted to use this individually, I don't have this in my store, but I just, the, the website is naturallife.com. You just kind of pull these out. It's already perforated. So you could just pull it out and use them, hand them to somebody. And on the other side, it's got like the to and from on there. I just thought these were the most amazing little notes. I've been, and I love words. I love positive words. So I think these are really really fun to use. Okay, so I'm just cutting those edges off to make it look pretty good there. And I did cut some, I, I actually have some little scraps of paper. You all know how I love my scraps. So I stamped them out on um, paper, right? Using my um, Spring Blossom stamp set. Y'all have been so addicted to this little flower right here. And so we're gonna, I'm gonna show you how to make it dimensional and add it in to our card. Cause I'm just like super addicted to that fat flower and so are so many of you. So this actually, we're running out of the um, spring blossom. We went and put in another order for this um, because this right now seems to be the most popular stamp set that we have in our store. Linda Nelson says, hi, Tracy and Bill. I can barely keep up with your, with your lives. Does this mean you will not be live tonight? No, we won't be live tonight. No. That's why we're doing it earlier today, just because. <laughs> so y'all like the, the lives at night, too? Yeah, we're trying to come up with a schedule somewhat. We're, yeah. We're, we're waiting until we get enough feedback to see if the daytime or the evening, uh, particular days that we can, beyond a shot of a doubt, know that we're going to be there. Of course, exactly. we'll be popping up as we feel like it. But on those times, we'll become pretty much like clockwork. Yeah, we're just kind of so any, so any mind, suggestions, let mindlessly coming on here. Uh, we probably won't be able to find a time that will satisfy everyone. Robin got her stamps and paper. Yes, oh, Robin. Yes. And also Tasha. <coughs> Thank you. Congratulations, everyone. Nice. Yeah, these papers are so fun. So all I'm doing right now is this paper is not like that has the messages on it. It's not like really sturdy. So if you have that problem, all you do is you just put it on a piece of cardstock. And then you can use that as your background and cut away. So I made a card using this adorable little mermaid here. I like mermaids. I do too. Yeah, we, we loved the little mermaid when, when um, Ariel was little. Well, that was Chelsea's favorite movie. And so Ariel's name came from the little mermaid, Ariel. <laughs> I always wanted one when I was a kid. I said, I'm going to live underwater. And I tried to hold my breath, and I got the slightest <laughs> drop of water. And you said, never mind. mind. I said, it. I don't love it anymore, okay? <laughs> ah. Please. Okay, so I'm just kind of moving right along here. I'm going to show y'all right now. Um, this right here, I'm using the a two-size card stock. However, I have it folded where it can just flip up this way. Okay, so just so you know, I'm going to cut this down just a little bit. Let's see. I'm going to make it easier because I know many of you wanted me to kind of show you like all the steps. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I've got the five and a half, five, <laughs> five and a half, 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 five
four and a quarter by five and a half, A2 size, right? And I'm just going to cut this down just a little bit here. Let's come in about there. I'm gonna come in one eighth, right? Let's go to a quarter. I'm gonna cut it one quarter shorter. So that'll put me at five and a quarter. And then I'm gonna turn it this way. And rather than be at the four and a quarter, I'm going to go down to four. Hopefully y'all are staying with me. I Sometimes this cutting, cut this cutting, um, this trimmer can be kind of confusing. Krista says, so happy to see both of you this morning. Although I'm not much of a morning person. It's only after 10 here. Oh, where is she? I think she's in Montana. Oh, Chris, is that Krista That's Cobb? Krista Cobb. Oh, okay. Hey, Krista. Okay, so that's what we got so far, right? I want a border around there. Now I'm going to take my other paper and I'm going to cut it down because I want y'all to see all the steps. Right? So just bear with me while we cut. I'm cutting this at five, coming down another quarter of an inch. And we're going to cut this one another quarter of an inch shorter. We're cutting this one down to um, three and three quarters. Hopefully that's right. <laughs> if it's not, we'll know. We'll know live. If it's right? not, then we stop measuring <laughs> and just start slicing. Just start cutting, right? Because I could do that too. The old fashioned So you see way. how that is? Nice little border around it. This is that polka dot paper, that polka dot and striped paper is adorable and you get so many colors with it. Okay, so now I'm going to take this and just add it on here. Okay, I'm going to leave this alone for a minute. I want to move to the flowers. Let me show you what I'm going to do. Now many of you have seen me do the uh, flowers where I make them dimensional. So I'm going to show you how to make them dimensional, but then we're going to cut them. Yep. Bill, can you pass me my, um, my spell binders? Board? That yeah, it? that piercing mat. Yep. And there's a tutorial for how to make your flowers dimensional, but we're going to just go through the steps right now real quick. So how many people do we have on right now? 71. There you go. So what you need to do is you need to have one of these little um, piercing tools or no, this is called a, I always forget the name of this, embossing stylus. Don't look at me. You know, you know <laughs> Emboss, I don't know what that thing is Embossing about. stylus. Well, Bill will rename it for me though. <laughs> hey, hey y'all, she looked over it. at okay. me. I said, you know you don't want me to get this. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Bill will rename it for me. So I, all I'm doing is I'm taking a wet wipe and you see the lines are already on here. Now when you're doing this and you cut your flower, you need to cut it a little bit deeper than what it is. Let me show you what I mean by that. You see how the stem is here? The flower only comes <coughs> up about this part. You want to follow that black line all the way in to the middle or at least close to the middle, right? Well, even right where that, that circle is. Bill said even he can do it, right? So you want to cut it all the way in. So that'll help. <laughs> and let me know if you want me to carry. I, I may look for some of these, these embossing uh, styluses. <laughs> what do you call it? Styli, stylus. And put them in the store. So let me know if that's something you'd be interested in. Okay, so I'm going to turn these over and just wet them. Just dab them a little bit. Not too much. And you may have seen me do this before in a video. This is the fun part though, babe. Okay, so all I'm gonna do, you see how that petal stands out like that? I wonder if y'all can see, see okay here. I'm just gonna start taking this and going around. See, I'm taking that little ball point there and I'm just going around to make my flower. And y'all have gone wild with this, okay? Robin Remiger says you're out of the camera. Am I out of the camera? He's right here. Um, it looks like I'm pretty okay, much positioned in here. Okay. 
Okay. Let's go ahead and... Thank you, Robin. Right here. And you just start <laughs> to spin this around like this. Look, sometimes you get so caught up in what you're doing, you forget you're on camera. So you're just gently kind of turning this around. Don't, like, go for the jugular. Just kind of just gently in the round motion here. And you see how it's curling up on its own? You see this, Bill? Hey, I Bill, see it. Bill may want to try this one day, huh? See that? <laughs> What's that thing called again? The embossing stylus. So I was asking them if they wanted it in the store. I'm not sure if you were reading the comments, if that's something they might. I might look for one and, and get it. Now you see what I'm doing now? I'm just kind of dragging this in. See how it curls up now? Look at that, y'all. Hey, it did it. It's like magic, right? Now I'm going to flip it over. Look at that. And then what? I'm going to do the other one first. <laughs> no. Okay, let me do the middle. Now I'm pressing it in the middle. And you see it looks almost like it's alive. It's it just, does look it's like just, it's alive. It's wiggling around. It's alive. <laughs> it's just wiggling around there. Okay, see how that looks now? And just let it just let it dry just a little bit. So let's let's move this one over and do the other one. I'm just gonna take it and just gently. I think I may have to wet it a little bit more. And I'm just using a wet wipe. Just a little bit more. Bill is mesmerized by this. He's not reading the comments to me. Uh, I'm reading it because I'm being challenged to name this tool. To do what? To name that thing. I think oh. Robin has a good name, though. The Pokey Poker. <laughs> that actually sounds pretty good. Uh, so what do they say about us carrying? Do I need to look for one? Oh, someone used a pen lid before. We get this. Oh, you know what, Pamela? Yes, we. I, I got your um, email about the card. Thank you so much. Oh yeah, I remember that now. Yeah. That. We've been taking the cards and and randomly putting them into um, people's orders, and so y'all have written me like all of these thank yous for the card. Thank you for the order, but y'all have really been fascinated by the cards. Sometimes I'll put, we'll randomly put cards in each order that comes through. Like today, whatever orders come in, we're just going to randomly pick some, you know, just put cards in, in the orders. Um, I wish I could put cards in every one of them, but be here making cards forever. <laughs> so you see how that is just kind of like curls over, does that thing. So that's it, basically. So for this project, I'm only going to need, um, let's see, yeah, two flowers. I think that would be, that'd be fine. So let's go ahead and put this away here. So you can drop your little gem in there, and it looks so adorable. If you have not tried making these flowers, please. Uh, Joanne Gilbertson says she's so very happy you like your little book. I am in love with Joanne, this book, Joanne. Joanne, she loves this thing. Trust I, me. Bill, <laughs> Bill she almost knows. won't do anything else but that. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I've been having fun. And the thing is, I'm spreading the joy with these happy notes. I'm spreading the joy. You can. There's so many of them in here, and I can share them, you know? Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and start putting this card together. I said we were looking for an, an embossing stylus. And Alexandra Rosales says, yes, we want one. So oh, you do? Store. Okay, I'll, I'll do some research. Yeah, I, I like to research uh, everything. Also, Artsy Kirby Creation says, although she uses a mouse pad to add dimension to her flowers, as another crafter suggested, what store sells the pad without ordering online? Also, don't forget to thumbs sells up with, Which pair? The, the, which pad? Oh. The mouse pad to add dimension to the flowers. She uses a mouse pad, some technique. You oh, yeah, yeah, about. yeah. But you said what store? Yeah. Does anyone sell that without having to go online? Um, you that's probably a go good to Walmart, question. You probably can go and look up Piercing Mat and see which stores. Like when you Google, there's a place that says shop. There's a tab that says shop. And you can actually go to um, Google and put in um, Piercing Mat. But you know what? That is a great idea with the mouse pad. 
I mean, I don't know how many people still have a mouse pad, but um, do we have a mouse pad in the house? No, I was thinking about getting one because I need one actually at this point. There you go. <laughs> Except I won't be using it for that. I'll be using it for an actual mouse. Yeah. So maybe we need to get two of them in case mine disappears. Oh, I don't know who's going to make it disappear. Alexandra Rosales says, where are the thumbs up? Oh, y'all are so sweet. Thank you, Alexandra. Okay, so I'm going to turn this over and let's go ahead and add this. See, when you have a lighter piece of paper, if you want to let it stand out, put a border on it. Okay, and I'm going to use Bill's favorite craft tool that has become renamed now. People are going to uh, Dollar Tree looking for humpers. <laughs> uh, Asia is telling me, Bill, please, in large caps, tell Tracy we want the stylus. Okay. Okay, we're going to hunt it down and try to get a great deal on it. And Bill has added, he's got my notepad ready because he's going to add everything in. Hi, Helen. She finally managed to kept us, catch us live. Hey, Helen, how are you? And I'm going to use my little tool here to peel this off so I don't mess up my nails. <laughs> so, Bill, what have we been doing? Working. We sure have. <laughs> I was up, though. You know what, y'all? I got up she at 3. She doesn't sleep. She wakes me up. I know. I got up at 3 in the morning. And um, it woke me up after I fell asleep at 2.29, okay? Right. <laughs> Jeez. Uh, I woke up at, at about 3 o'clock, and I just could not go back to sleep. And what I did was Which means I went. I don't go back to sleep. Bill, you went back to sleep. No, I didn't. Okay. He didn't. <laughs> go ahead. Um, you know what? That's funny. <laughs> <laughs> I could not go back to sleep. Oh, my goodness. Look how adorable that mermaid is. And so I, I stayed up and started doing some crafting, you know? Started making a few cards and stuff. Okay, so that's what we got so far. Isn't that mermaid is so cute? It says, you are mermazing. Bill, you're mermazing. They're just saying it because it's true. Because <laughs> it's true, huh? Okay, so now I'm going to take this little flower right here and watch what I'm going to do, y'all. She's going to cut it in half. I'm cutting it straight down the middle, right? Cutting it in half here. And what I found when I cut this in half is that it looked somewhat like a shell when I cut it in half. Let me show you how I'm gonna do this. Okay, I'm gonna take this now and right here, well, Wrong side, right here. Bill, you're all choked up about this, aren't you? Oh, yes. And I'm just going to tuck it right under here on the corner there like that. Look at that dimension, y'all. Cecilia Anderson says, she just got back from Dollar Tree. I saw the notification. Here I am. I didn't even unload the bags yet. Oh, my Laugh goodness. <laughs> now, that's some dedication. We appreciate y'all. I'm glad y'all enjoy the lives, too. Y'all have been writing me behind the scenes and saying, oh, my goodness, you and Bill make me smile. So I'm glad I could put a smile on someone's face. Because you, you don't want them to frown. <laughs> I'm just going to kind of tuck that in right there. Are y'all seeing this? It looks like a shell. I'm just like, what? New technique. Just putting a little bit of glue on there. You just need a little bit, just a smidgen. And tucking it right under there. They do kind of look like she seashells. I can't even say it. She, 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 she shells. She shells. <laughs> they look like she shells. <laughs> they look like sea shells. I have to say both words kind of slow. If I say them together, though, it doesn't yeah, come out. She right. shells, sea, sea, well, that it, But it does look cool, doesn't it? It looks pretty cool. 
Asia Rutledge was up making cars at 3 a.m. Asia, what you doing up at 3? You got my hours. We I almost didn't want to work and look at cars. And now we could have called. At, at three. Look, we could have. <laughs> card making is so fun because every card is so unique. I'm going to add some of these little. Katie Smith says she loves those seashells. Seashell. Isn't that something? And that's the flower. I mean, I, I was just like, what? See how many things you can create when you start creating. You have to start. Okay? Well, it's like you envision it to be something else. Right. I never, I had no idea. And I just said, let me tuck the flower in here. And then I was like, wait a minute. That looks like a seashell. Kind of like a sculptor who yeah. looks at a large stone and sees a figure inside of the stone and starts chipping around it and releases it. There you go. Yep. You got it. In order, in order for you to discover what's possible, you have to start. Right? And oh. where do you start? At the beginning. And what do you use? Whatever you have. Right? Congratulations, Teresa Hall. It's her, today is her 22nd wedding anniversary. Oh, wow. Everyone, congratulate Teresa. Hey, Teresa. Congratulations. Happy anniversary. Bill and I will be celebrating ours uh, June, our anniversary, June 20th. Mean, that's really saying something. What is that, June 20? Someone, I don't know how true. June 28th is ours. That's true, June yeah. 28th. I don't know how true this is, you all, but I read somewhere that in uh, Las Vegas, they've changed the wedding vows. They no longer say, to death do us part. They say, for as long as is humanly possible. Oh, do they? Yeah. Oh, okay. We'll because the that. divorce rate was so high <laughs> in that area. <laughs> so 22 years is saying As something. long as humanly possible. <laughs> uh oh, too sweet. For BS says, I want to send Asia a birthday card, but I need an address. So what do, what do we do, Asia? Do we put the email address or probably not? I don't know. Oh, that's so sweet. Look at that. That is so awesome. I am in love with that and card. And I like to see, turn that sideways. See the dimension slightly on that card? See how I'll it turn, turns? Yeah. I love... Now, I y'all, I joke around a lot calling these things humpers, but this is why I like them. Those, those the mounting tape, which I call humpers, it, it, <laughs> you can, it can transform any project. It really does. Literally. When you, when you add dimension to it, yeah. It just takes card making to a different level. I'm going to just really quickly cut this uh, this flower out because I want to use it and just put, put one inside. Isn't this adorable, y'all? I'm just like, I could make a bunch of these. This is so cute. Bill is typing and breathing. He's like, <laughs> you uh, think he was jumping? I let a lynch. She just got home from work today. She wasn't feeling well. Oh. Well, hopefully we can add some little bit. Just a little bit of sunshine to your day. I hope you feel better. Hey, y'all. I want to, I'm trying to read. I'm missing a lot of messages. I'll be going back and trying to. Sherry, her son's ninth birthday is Sunday. If he could get a Oh, is that Titus? That's Titus. Oh, sweet. You know, Titus has a store. Oh, no, he has a, he's a little businessman. I think he sells his cards or something like that. Uh, is it candy or cards? I think it's candy. Sherry, what is it, candy? Or just a little bit of everything. Well, it's just anything they can possibly buy. Okay, I'm just going to put these in here. It's Miss Super Clutz. Hey, Joan, how are you? I just love Joan. And I have to have my stuff off kilter on these. I have to tell you about Joan, Miss Superclutz. I have never seen anything but positivity just oozing from her at all. Her times. comments, right? I'm telling <laughs> her you, she's are like... such a welcome relief. <laughs> wow, she's such a welcome relief. So that's the card. Here's here's the one I made at two in the morning. Look at that. Oh, and I forgot. We actually have in the store, Bill. You're supposed to remind me. I was. I was. Stickles in all 
a bunch of different colors, new colors added to the store. Want me to go get them? Um, not really. Okay. Well, I just go to <laughs> the mean, store. No, if you want to run downstairs, go ahead. <laughs> well, no, in that case. Look. <laughs> look, I'll put the link and y'all can check it out. That's funny. Okay. Yeah, and, so we got a, uh, a bunch more new stickles um, in different colors added to the store. But y'all know how I love the crystal. The crystal and the Stardust stickles. See, I'm adding, I got to add sparkle to my seashells, y'all. Look how adorable that looks like. Seashells and pearls. You can't go wrong with that. Right? With the seashells and pearls. Look at that. See if y'all can see that. Ooh, Taz Holden. See if y'all can see that. Guess what, Tracy? Hey, Taz. Taz Holden and her husband have the same anniversary as ours. Really? How long have they have they been married? How long have y'all been married, Taz? Do y'all have to catch up to us, or do we have to catch up to you? How long have we been married, darling? I think 13. Uh-oh, must be off. 14. 12? Is it 12? I don't know. I don't know either. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. How could I forget? It seems it's been so wonderful. It, it seems like it has, hasn't that. it? It certainly has. See, I don't it's, think of it in terms it's of it's been a journey, hasn't it? 12 or 13. I'm not mad at you, babe, for not remembering. Because I didn't remember either. <laughs> there you go. But she looked at me like <sighs> <sighs> Yes, Sherry, we have more colors. I'm going to have Bill go downstairs, Sherry. Okay, I'll go downstairs. If, if you want Bill to go downstairs and be huffing and puffing, well, she, she, we have to see if Sherry wants you to go all the way downstairs. You know Sherry wants me to go down. <laughs> okay. uh, I'm just adding, I'm using my Stardust uh, Jelly Roll pen, and I'm just adding a little bit of sparkle to my card, you know? Sometimes you just have to find that thing that really, you know, because y'all know I love to do stitching, right? Neither one of these have stitching on them. And I'm so tempted to do it. I'm going to, I'm not going to do it though, but I'm so tempted. See, I'm just adding, this is a great way to add just a little bit of accent to your card. And Bill went downstairs, so I'm not, I'm not reading the comments right now. I was going to the gym, but I think this will do it. Oh, Violetta Lynch said just watching us makes her feel better. So that this is what we got here. Let me see. If, I don't know if y'all can see that sparkle on there. I'm not sure. But look how this is just, oh my goodness. I need to put these in someone's orders. I need to. I'm, I'm going to, I have to give, look, I'm not going to hold these. I got to give them away. Okay, I got to give them away. So that's the first card. Thank you, Nadia. Nadia says she loves the card. Oh. Um, I'm going to go ahead and let these dry right here, and then we're going to move on to the next card. Before I move on to that, here's the, um, the stickles. We got them in silver now. Uh, we got, oh, I need some paper. Ooh, let me let me put them on some paper, right? Let me put some on some cardstock since I know. Thanks, babe. Bill was trying to. Um, I just need some little scraps of cardstock. I'll put them on here. Oh, I can use this right here, so you can see what it looks like. Yes, here we have more colors. So this is the and this is the silver. In. Ooh, look at that. Oh my goodness, this is going to be fun. That's going to be fun. Do this? Hmm? Oh, I could put it on the black, yeah. Let's see what it looks like on the black. Good idea, babe. Because um, let's rule see. of thumb is put no, let's see. light on dark and dark on light. I actually like it on the white. 
This would be I good on like an anniversary card. That's kind of like a neutral. It? It, it would go good on any color because mm -hmm. silver and gold kind of fits that criteria. Okay, so let's try the blue now. This is called, it's not blue, it's called waterfall. So I could actually use it on my mermaid card, can't I? There's the blue. Ooh, look how pretty that looks. Oh, let me hold it up closer. Look how pretty that looks on the on the black. Am I okay on there? Oh yeah. On the camera? Well, yes. It would do the white also though. Okay, let's see how it looks on the white. Oh my goodness. Yes. Can y'all see that? That I'm on the go white. Up to a little. Let me show you. That on the white. Look at Look that. Right here. I'm going to have fun experimenting. I wish y'all could really see this. Maybe a little too close. Might be too close. Let me move it down a little bit. Okay. Okay, let's go ahead and y'all tell me which one. This one is called, a bunch of y'all have already ordered this. This glam pink. Y'all are some glamorous people, okay? You know? <laughs> glam pink right now happens to be the top seller. Look how bright that is. This will definitely brighten someone's day. Bill, I can put some glam pink on your card. Hmm? For Father's Day? Well, there's another color available. I prefer that. <laughs> so the white, definitely, but, you can see how it really shows the true color. But, but it, it still shows up on the, on the darker color, too. That's what that looks like. So we got those three, and then oh, let me make sure I close this back. Oh, bye, Brenda. Brenda had to leave. See you, Brenda. Cranberry, this one is called. Cranberry. Look how rich that color looks. Oh, yes. Cranberry. Oh, I love the way it looks on the black. Look at that, babe. Look how it looks on the black. Right. Oh, it really has a rich look. That. Yes, Alexandra Rosales said, zoom in. I'm really liking that on... That's as good as we can get, Alexandra, because yeah, our camera is about to hit bit bite the dust. But on the next one, we'll be able to zoom in. Well, on this, oh my, not oh yeah, not oh, my you, phone camera. Even on the phone, my phone camera is the phone good. doesn't have the same. <laughs> I love my little Samsung phone. Bill trying to get even me to though get it's a good, new it's an S six, but compared to what they have now, believe me. I, I've learned how. Oh, look at the gold. Oh my goodness! You see, gold is good neutral because it goes because it goes with everything, gold and silver. I'm really liking that. Actually, all of these are going pretty good. It'd be perfect lining. Let's see if y'all can see. I'm all out of the camera. <laughs> Who said they need them all? <laughs> Aren't those pretty? Now you know I can't just keep it like that. I got to do something to it, right? Mary Brock says, "Oh, I need cranberry." Look at that. I want to smear it a little bit. I want to see how it looks when I smear it. Why am I smearing it? Because yes, I can. I was just wondering that. Because I can. I just want to, know. you know. What happens if you mix, uh, mix over into one? I'm not mixing it, babe. Look at you. I, just curious. I'm just kind of, oh, I'm all out of the camera. Look you at know. you. Look at that, y'all. I'm over here having fun. Look at that. You know what? I, you might be finding a different effect here, you know, with these. That's the pink, the glamour pink one. I'm just kind of spreading it so y'all can kind of see what the consistency of this looks like. This is that waterfall, though. I'm really liking that waterfall. On the black, this looks green to me. More like a green color. Let's see, Anderson says it's only two ninety nine. Love the price. Exactly. Yeah, and I'm going to be adding more colors. We tried to keep the price as absolutely as low as we could in order to so it's a win win for both. Without gal, we, there's no need for some of the prices that exist out here. Okay, so that's just just kind of spreading it about. That was quite relaxing doing this, Bill. Mm -hmm. It was quite relaxing doing that. So, yeah, let's move on to our next card. So, yep, all of these are in the store, right? Well, hopefully they're still in the store because <laughs> a bunch of y'all went and scooped those up. 
So that's what Bill was uh, busy doing yesterday, putting the new things in the store. Okay, so that's what we got. Um, we also added two more uh, papers in the store as well. Let me just show you these before I get to the, we start our next card. We, we added um, a premium card stock. This is called Neutrals. Oh, you know what? I need to open this, this up, one? huh? No. Mm -hmm. Yes, you need to open that up. I need to, to break this one open live. Break that sucker up. Maxine Caves, do you ship to the UK? Yes, we yes, do. Yes, we do. Okay, let me show you. <laughs> Y'all gonna find out that I like polka dots, you know? Let me move this, because this is still drying, so I don't want to mess up my card here, Bill. This is still drying. Put that there. And put this one over here. Let me just show y'all what this looks like, so y'all can get a good look. I see some masculine-inspired cards on this one here. But I also see, like, journal-type stuff. See if I can really get this spread out. Look at that. Look at that. I see masculine. You wouldn't mind having polka dots on a masculine card, would you? No. I see a Father's Day tie like thing, a shirt. That's what I was thinking of when I got this paper. Look at all the different designs and shades of colors. So Bill is going to be making some, I'm going to be doing a masculine card, a uh, couple of them. And Bill is going to be doing some masculine cards as well. So just wanted to show y'all what these look like. Look at all of the different designs you get in this. And this has 25 sheets, I believe. Let's see. Yep, 25 sheets, a nice... Robin. This is 65 pound card stock. Yes, but Robin. this seems much sturdier. Robert says, "Is that new paper?" Yes, this it is, is new paper. Yep. Yeah. Look at all of the designs. I mean, this is just like talk about. Yes, male inspired cards, y'all. Male inspired cards. And yeah, y'all, yeah, I'm in love with this. I see uh -oh. a polka dotted tie for dad. <laughs> Let's see what this one is. Here is the, the I'm gonna show y'all the pastels. Nadia Nardini says they look great smeared on the black card. Oh, those colors, right? Let's see. Jessica McKenzie says the glitter on the black paper reminds her of Christmas and our country flag. Oh. Also, oh, Crafty says she loves the wall waterfall smear. Oh, that waterfall to me, that's like my favorite right there. That and the cranberry. Hey, y'all. Okay, so I'm gonna show y'all this other card stock that's that we just added to the store. So I've been I've been hunting for some stuff for y'all, some new paper. The British two suitcases is. Oh, wait a minute. I did order all the new items in your store this morning. I you sure did. Half asleep ordering. But <laughs> she sure did. But I tell you what, anytime our stuff comes out, make sure you're half asleep. <laughs> <laughs> this is the pastel cardstock. And this is a premium cardstock also. Here's another one. Look at the colors. Look at all of those colors again. You got the green. Look at the shade of colors. Got the pink, the green, the blues, and you got them in the polka dot, and you got stripes. So you see the theme that's going on here? Nice way to add more cardstock to your paper crafting and actually make stuff out of it. Don't hold on to the paper and put right. it on and the you, shelf and neatly. Then when you combine it Use with like it. those solids and stuff right. like that. That's right. You can combine. Bill, good going, babe. Yeah, because you have to have those. Well, you those can. Solids. The nice thing is that you can just, yeah, you can combine them with not only the solids, but you can combine them with some of these as well. But, but I love this kind of right. stuff. And you, this. you can combine them with these yeah, also. once you kind of do that and then put that on there, yeah, all of a sudden it comes to life. Yeah, so you you see how the colors. Anyway. So you got all of the um, a nice array of colors. 
Yep. It's like a built-in border. Yeah. So. <laughs> so Pamela <Brita> Cunningham <laughs> says there's not enough male-inspired car, car soccer stamps. Exactly. We're going to try to change that somewhat, but, Pamela. Right. That's why I was hunting for that other paper, the neutrals, because I, I when I looked at it, I thought male-inspired. You know, so. Stay tuned for some of those male-inspired stamps. Hint, hint. <laughs> uh, okay, so let's go ahead to the next card. The next card, y'all, it was inspired by this, right? Look how adorable that is. So I had fun picking out colors for this one. It came again from the Happy Notes, right? And so what I decided to do was something a little bit different. Okay, you see how this is? This is like three and a quarter by three and a quarter. All right, so I got that little card there. And that's going to go on top of this. And then I took the polka dot. Look at that pretty shade there. And, of course, the flowers once again. More flowers. So we'll put those aside for now. And I use my Tumbo marker to color these in. I use my Tumbos. So you see how pretty that is? on there. These are so fun to, to color in. Um, I hope they can get more of this. Um, we can get these in soon soon enough before it runs out. The Spring Blossom stamp set, Bill. We have these on order right now. So they should be coming in at any moment, but this is like the most popular stamp set right now. Okay, so let's go ahead and start our next card. I'm doing the card flipped up from the top here, just like that. Does anyone need to know how to cut this when they're cutting their cardstock? I can show you how I cut it. Let me actually get one that's not cut yet. Let me get some paper. It's not cut yet. Let's see. Okay. Oh, that's the wrong paper. Sometimes when it's cut like this, it's a little bit different from how you would cut it this way, right? And not everyone might not everyone might know how to cut that. So I'm going to show you real quick. I'm just in here like looking for stuff and knocking stuff. Rosalind Lloyd says, Tracy, I think you can sell your flowers in your online store. Yours are much more beautiful than the ones in the stores. Oh. That's so sweet. Flo Emerson has a good question, Tracy. She says, the ink I have for stamping smears if I try to color. What ink should I be using? Okay, so when you're stamping, what, what markers are you using? She said she when she colors. Yes. Because this could actually happen to this also because I'm using a watercolor uh, marker. These are watercolor markers. So what, what color? Um, uh, here's the question uh, right here. The ink I have for my stamping smears if I try to color. No, I was wondering what kind of um, markers. Are you, you using watercolor markers? Because it will it will smear. I use the Versafine, and I don't. it doesn't really smear. Like rum or This is a pigment ink. Right. But right. everyone was suggesting the, uh, what is it called? I haven't gotten a chance to, to test it out. Ron Marcus knows the name of that. Ron Marcus, he says, if you're I'm using alcohol markers, then use something more, like memento. If you're using right. water, use Versafine. There you go. So if you're using water, when I use my Versafine with these, with my um, watercolor markers, my Tumbos, mm. it doesn't smear. And that's why you like it so much. That's why I like it. Um, memento... I still use it sometimes. I just try to stay away from the ink. But if it's all I have on hand, I use this for a long time to color my in images. And then once I went to this, I was like, oh, yeah, this is great. But that's also probably because you started off with... Uh, with what I have? No, with <laughs> Copics. But then you went to those combos. And in all honesty, you never really looked back. I like the watercolor markers. You know, everybody... And they're much more economical, too. You know, they were given to me as a gift, and once I got that first gift, I was uh, I was um I was in love with them. Pamela Cunningham says, "Are you guys gonna have a Mother's Day inspired stamp set?" 
with Pamela. Just stay tuned. <laughs> stay tuned. <laughs> Y'all ah, trying to get me to give away some details, okay? Okay, so to cut your card this way, like this, I'm chuckling over here because I'm so excited about the next couple of, um, the next two months I'm so excited about. Okay, so get to get your card folded that way, all you're going to do is you're just going to fold your card this way, right? Normally the card would be the other way, like this. And then I just cut it in half. But to get this style, where it opens like that, you just kind of cut, fold it down like this. This is an eight and a half by 11 paper. And my folds aren't always that good. Do a nice little crease there, right? That's a nice little crease right there. And then you're going to cut it. You're going to cut it at the four and a quarter mark like this. And then you get two cards out of that, right? You get two card bases. Okay, so did you see what I did, right? Super easy. And you can cut a bunch of these. I kind of, I'm kind of liking the way these flip up like that. Okay, so let's go ahead and start this one. Before you get started, Alexandria Rosales says, Tracy and Bill, thank you for all you do. I have loved crafting, but you have inspired me so much. Honestly, oh, you don't have so any welcome. idea what you do for people like me. Wow. Well, thank you know you. what? If it's any reflection of some of the um, mail that we get, Ooh. And that has me in tears sometimes. Um, then you know what? I, I thank you so much. I appreciate that. Y'all keep me going. Y'all definitely keep me going. And, and one more question. Robin Renninger says she left her pad open overnight. Do you know what she can do to revive it? Ooh. You may have to. Um, I, I would not. I don't even. I've never done that, so I don't know if you should. I don't know. I just don't know. <laughs> you you know Google I don't know one. if I would want to wet it or anything. I'm sure if you're asking the question that it has been done before and someone has the someone answer. Has I just don't answer. have the answer to it. I wouldn't even... My instinct would say to add water to it, but I'm afraid, <laughs> you know, you didn't hear me say that. But that would be my first instinct would be to add water. But I don't want you to ruin your pad. I don't know if you have to get the same ink and re-ink it. I just don't know. Hello. Look, Bill is over here showing me comments, okay? You know what, Bill? I'm going to be concentrate on making my card, okay? <laughs> okay, so now I'm going to... I need a base for this. Look how pretty that color is. Look how pretty, y'all. Isn't that the cutest? So this could be a separate card by itself, but I don't want it to be. So I'm going to show you what I'm going to do. Bill, you usually say at this point, what are you, what are you going to do? <laughs> okay, so I'm going to cut this down. This is a six by six piece of paper from the polka dots and stripes. Cut that down. Because I want that border around it. And then cut it down to, is that four and a quarter? We'll cut it down to four. And we'll see what happens, right? See, y'all are challenging me to use this. <laughs> Bill, so what is everyone saying? I'm just shocked that LeChat is here. LeChat never sleeps. Okay? <laughs> Robin says, I'm at work on my break, and the sales lady from Tuesday morning walks up to me and says, I'll see you later at the store. Laugh out loud. <laughs> you know? Oh, that's when you know, right? Robin, she has your pattern down. Call. Right. <laughs> Oops. I'm getting to be like Bill with the art glitter glue, right? Exactly. So it's not 10, just me. 10,000 years stuff hanging from now. All off. 
Ten thousand years from now, right? <laughs> exactly. That's my saying. Uh, okay. Yeah, I got a little bit hanging right there. Oh, Patricia Dow says, are the cardstock paper you sell going to be able to re be reordered later? I hate that some companies only sell the items for a short period and then quit selling them or discontinue them. I'm going to try to restock as much as I can. Um, sometimes they just, sometimes you're right. Sometimes they, they run out because stop. of the popularity, but um, yeah, I think y'all sold out one of the papers within a day, one of the papers I put in the store, and then the next time I put it in, I went back to order, there wasn't as many left, so I bought as much as they had to try to get them back in the store and again. Then we're back, and it yeah, seems so like we're hopefully, still not there. <laughs> Okay, so now we've got this, right? And we've got this. Watch this, y'all. Watch the magic. I'm watching. I'm going to... Who says I can't put a card, a smaller card, on a larger card, right? Do y'all see what I just did? Bill, did you see that? No. I'm typing. A card on a card. <laughs> okay, so we're going to put that right there who says you can't do that right who says you got to make up your own rules look at that so you can write in here you can write something in here i'm loving it now i'm going to take my flower and cutting it in half again and why am i cutting it in half because i can right uh oh this is a great comment <laughs> Uh, Dn says storing ink pads upside down helps keep keep ink at the top for use. Nice. That's a good one, Carol. I've heard someone uh, say Deanne. that before. Jennifer Real made it. Jennifer Real is here. Peggy Laurie is here. Hey, Peggy. So now I'm taking my flowers and I'm adding them in here. All right. Adding my flowers. Well, I was a creative fiend at 2 a.m. this morning. Three, three o'clock. Bill was up at two, right? <laughs> and I'm just adding a little border here, making it real fun. Look at that. Bill, this is so cute. This is such a fun card to make. These flowers really, really go to distance, okay? And I just left that middle, um, the middle of the flower white, but I could color it in if I wanted to. So it's just up to you. I hope y'all are getting some inspiration here. Okay. Bill is over here typing feverishly and breathing. <laughs> typing wearing y'all babe? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. So look at that. Isn't that adorable? This would brighten someone's day. Today is a good day to have a good day. I've heard that before. Today is a good day to have a hey, good day. Hey, Lori says, Trace, you make everything look so easy. It is easy. The hard part is getting started sometimes, you know? But thank you, Peggy. I appreciate it. I want to make it look as easy as possible because I want you to come away and say, you know what? I'm going to give that a try. And But I'm going to do something a little bit different, you know? I might not have every all the different supplies needed, but you can you can really improvise. And I'm sorry, y'all. I got to do the stitching, okay? <laughs> just on this just on this one. Here's the other one. Look at that. Bertha Wilson is here. Hey, she Bertha. She just got here. I couldn't help it, Bill. I had to do the stitching. But you know you what? Sound surprised. Kind of does do something. You sound surprised. You right? can kind of see side by side the difference. One yeah. stitch, one Right, top. so I'm going to do one stitch and one... And you can even do like a stitch down that way. Uh, 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 hands are getting close. I almost got stabbed with the pokey thing. Hands she was getting, about to get me. You're about to get. <laughs> ah. 
hands on the computer keys, darling. <laughs> say what you were going to say, babe. You said I don't know what's happening now. Oh, well, never mind then. <laughs> oh, married life at its best, right? Okay, so the stitched card versus the non-stitched, right? There you go. That's what it looks like. Isn't it? And look how fun it looks. You know, you got your polka dots, you got flowers, you got stitching. And let's see. I did add, I used my, um oh, my Stardust pen, right, to add a little bit of sparkle. Super cute. I'm just, I, I, I'm just like... We have 111 people. Oh, nice. On a Friday, y'all. It's 61 thumbs up. I hope y'all are not at work. Do not blame me, y'all. If y'all I hope y'all are not at work getting distracted. They are. <laughs> That's the best place to get Who, distracted. Who's at work right now? Let's see. <laughs> <laughs> Please. And it's Friday, too. Are you kidding me? <sighs> and for those of you lucky enough to have an office where you can close yourself up, please. Hmm. Oh, I like that name. Oh, so crafty. Oh, thank you. Oh, so crafty. She says, I am going to make a special birthday card for a special person. Oh, Bill. And it will be my first time. Oh, nice. This is giving me great ideas. The card on the card idea. Isn't that cute? I mean, who says that you, you can't put a card on a card, right? And then if you wanted to, you can put a little tiny card in here, and then you have another card. Cajun Sunshine just got on, and of course, no notification by YouTube. Uh-oh. I don't know what's going on with YouTube, right? Welcome the to notifications. The... They're trying to keep us apart. They can't do it. They can't they keep can't us separate apart. Our love. They can't separate us. We crafters stick together. Right. We are family. I got all my crafters with me. There you go. Jamie Cumbie says, hi, Bill. I just received my paper, paper packs, and they are awesome. And I just knew your awesome tag was going to be in there, but it wasn't. Oh. Uh oh, Jamie. Wait a minute. <laughs> yeah, these cards are going to show up in someone's order, though, because <laughs> I can't keep all of this. I just can't. So I'm using my Stardust Stickles. And I'm adding... Are we sold out of the Stardust? I think we are. I can't remember. We, we, I think we're waiting I think on some we, more to come. Yeah, we're waiting on more of these to come because these sold out. But I love the way this looks. And they're very similar um, to the crystal. Crystal, The crystal has almost like a blue... Look, I'm like the Christopher has like a blue... <laughs> I'll get my words twisted here. The crystal has almost like a bluish tone, a light blue tone to it. But it looks very similar to the Stardust. So I've got more Stardust coming on the way. So I'm just kind of sparkling the inside of the flowers. But I could have colored these in too. So you just got to do what you do what you want to do on these, you know. Uh, let me do some more. Yeah, I'm going to do a little bit more stickling. <laughs> if that's a word. I'm making up a word, Bill. Stickling. I'm going to go around here and make sure you let these dry. Let them dry for a little bit. I would just leave them alone for 30 minutes and let them Lisa dry. Lisa Christian says, I got my notification but had to join late because I was doing some research for my hubby. No, I was not searching for a hubby. She was already, <laughs> you said you weren't. <laughs> but for the hubby that she has. <laughs> she said research for a hubby. Because there, yeah. there's someone that would have said. Misconstrued oh, that, you right? find a hubby? You know, someone would have said that. <laughs> Exactly, Lisa. Oh, this looks cute. So now this one, I just used the um my my um Stardust Jelly Roll pen to outline it, but on this one, I'm gonna just do the stickle so y'all can see what that looks like. Diane Solomon's middle name is Joy, so she signs her cards on the back. Joyful Creations. Oh, Isn't that cool? I like that. Look how adorable this looks. Oh my goodness. I wish y'all can really, I'm not sure if y'all can really, look how that makes that pop. Right? Look at that. 
I'm not sure if y'all can see that. This is this looks so pretty. I'm a stickler for stickles, babe. <laughs> Just adding more on there. Yeah, I hope y'all are getting a lot of little ideas. You know, even if you just take one idea away, we're good to go. And so I'm using my stickles on my Tumbo markers. And you see it's got just a little bit of pink is coming <clears throat> off on there. But it's still okay. You know what? Angie Bannister says, I'm working today from 3 p.m. to 8 p.m., being a greeter at my job. Got to cheer up some customers. Always saying hello to everyone. You know what's really interesting? I read somewhere, I think it was Les Brown. He said he incorporates what he calls the rule of five. That means anyone within five feet of him, he's like, hello, how are you doing? That might be How's your, rule, your day? Babe. Oh, yeah. That's, that sounds like your rule. I do do that. <laughs> yeah, he sure does. Lately, I've been going to 10 feet, though. <laughs> <laughs> but it's so cool though I, I love that especially with people who are in sales or something you know hey how you doing I'm a painter you need something painted I'll paint something right now give me a paper let me have a fence you know what I'm saying so basically anyone within 5 feet 10 feet hello yeah you could yeah it's amazing Bill Bill got distracted at the post office yesterday. I sent him in I the did. post office. I was outside on the phone. I did. And sorry, Krista. He didn't get somebody's tracking number <laughs> because he was too busy socializing. I so I said when he came out, he was like, I forgot the tracking number. I was number. playing with the post and office I said, lady. I said, you know what? I said you probably was socializing and completely I was. forgot. Well, but you know what? That post office, the people in there, the energy is so wonderful. Ryan Marquis says Bill probably yells across the freeway. Freeway. You know what? He will yell across. That's how that lady found us in Dollar Tree. She recognized your voice. That's true. She was in another aisle. Like I said before, I'm the guy <laughs> that waits, for, that steps in the elevator and waits for the door to close and time it closes. So how are you doing today? I am in love with these cards. There's so much you can do. See, I can still keep going and put more stuff in here. Um, I could put more things in here. You could put a little picture in here too if you wanted to. This would make a nice little Mother's Day kind of card. You was in the card on the card. So I'm just kind of letting this dry a little bit. That one is so let's see I, I'm sorry I got to do stitching on this one too I, I can't help it now that I see it on the other one Bill you breathing and typing again <laughs> I am he sound like he's on his on the treadmill <laughs> while he's typing See, the thing is, you can add dots to the flowers. You can use your gel pen and add dots to the flowers. There's so many different things you can do. So if I was to add dots, um, I'm going to add dots to this one. I'll show you what I would do because that just, since this one is dry, I'll show you what I would do with that. See, all these little ideas, once you start, they just keep coming. Okay, so let's see if we can find some dots here. Okay, so I'm going to take this gel pen, right? And so what you can do is you can just start to really just do some little things on here, right? You can get very, um, am I in camera? Let me make sure. Let me see if I can move this down. Just a little bit. Exactly. Leslie Kendall says, breathing is good, Bill. Breathing is good. <laughs> so I'm just adding three dots to each petal here. Just three dots. Now you just, it's to me, this is like, um, 
just kind of doodling on your paper here, right? The thing we used to do as kids in our notebooks. And so now we are just adding a few dots to this using the gel pen. How's that, babe? Oh, what? Oh, I love that. <laughs> that sounds so rehearsed, okay? <laughs> no, seriously, I just looked. <laughs> okay, so here's... You so know, it's interesting how you can else. add that one little thing, and that one little it's thing can little create thing, a right? whole other aspect. Mm -hmm. Right, so now if you wanted to, you can take your gel pen and you can just kind of go in and put little things, you know, on your card. You know, just not much, just a few. Eva Freeman just jumped in. Hey, guys, I'm, I'm, hey, I'm missing a zillion comments. I'm, I'm trying to, they're coming so fast. I'm flipping back and forth all over the place. So I do apologize if I miss something. Yeah, those comments, really. If you ever do a live, my goodness, the comments fly by so fast. So I'm just adding a few little dots to tie in that white. Right? I'm trying to see what we used to do. Because you can always days. spruce up. You can always spruce up your stuff, you know? It doesn't have to stay the way. Think of it as a small canvas. So how's that? For those of you just tuning in, here's the mermaid. Oop, I thought I did that upside down. Here's the mermaid card. I love that one, the shell card. Mm-hmm. So the same shelter. flower. Look at that. See how diverse this flower is? You know is? what? I was cleaning up the garage and I found a bag of seashells. I'm dying to see what Tracy can do with that. Remember those seashells? No, you are supposed to be no, doing you. <laughs> he's like, I wonder what you can do. I said, that. no, I wonder what you... My husband thinks he's not a crafter, y'all. But no, y'all know he's, he's a crafter. see what you can do. So you see how diverse these flowers are? Look at that. Look at that. There's another one, another idea. Just so many ideas from one one stamp, right? So let me just, I'm just going to put these in the camera so they can see. I want to see what some of those comments say because Bill has not been reading the comments. Let's see, I'm going to put this up just a little bit. Okay. Oh, here's, a, here's another card I did. I was busy. You know, it's interesting how you look make that. black look stand out. Right. Oftentimes, people won't use black because they feel like, well, it's the, the color doesn't allow me the flexibility to. You can still, you but, know. But it is. This, can't, this little note, it says, do more of what makes your soul happy. It came from that happy notes. How happy this? notes to share again. And once you get, once you feel comfortable doing more of what makes your soul happy, gravitate to doing all of what makes your soul happy. There you go. Exactly. But washing dishes does not make me happy. Uh, you know what? <laughs> <laughs> I've already I've already accepted that part. I know, right? No, just See, kidding. He, he, he knows that he does <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> washing dishes does not make me happy. Let me try and find what, what I used here. Oh, I used the black. That's the black why we should just dots. get rid of every all the dishes and only have paper paper stuff. Paper plates. Look what I did. I took cups, this paper right forks, here. Right, I love how the how the how right. It plays so I use off. the stripes underneath that polka dot one, and it still works. <laughs> that's why I love this paper. You can make and it's so tons cool. of cards, and then that's the flower right there done in the gray, and and I just added some stickles to it. Those stickles, I tell you, those those stickles are something else. Exactly. So if this is not enough inspiration for you. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, I'm trying to. Look at Tasha trying to railroad me into making a card today. I'll make one on the next live. How about that? I love that. Yeah, I love that mermaid too, Eva. You know what? Even just holding this kind of look. Look at how this plays off with the with that. Right. It's just so. That little van there. So I, I added sparkly stuff also to the van. 
So to me, let me see this for a second. Let's say if this was smaller, you could literally have, it would be Lots like that. Drink. I know. Mm -hmm. And then like, imagine a, a card, but now the card is, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, you, like a big card, and right? And then it would, it would play off even more. Well, you can always do this, right? If you want to do like a six by six card, or if you want to do a three by three card, and then you just start layering them, right? Kind of on top of each other. You see what I'm saying? Yes. Rama Key says the white dots reminds her of bubbles. Oh. That's what I thought when I was doing the mermaid card. Was like the little white dots being kind of bubbly like. So yeah. I hope y'all got inspired by this. Anything else, Bill? Carol Watson says she just puts her dishes in the dishwasher. You know what? I remember that when I was in the Navy, there was a guy who was working in the area called the deep sink, where they had pots and pans. And you'd be in there washing dishes, like off of breakfast, lunch, and dinner. That could be a 14-hour day. This guy would get big pans and stuff and throw, bag them up and throw them over the, the, the uh, <laughs> out the sink. I said, what are you going to wow. do? I said, what are you going to do when you run out of stuff when to you cook run out, with? Right? And they know you're the only one back there. <laughs> you got to get court-martialed or something. Wow. Okay? Oh, yeah. Jennifer Real says, on the next video, can you make three-by-three three cards? Oh, that's a good one. Ooh. Three by three. Write that down there. Okay, three Eva three Freeman three just got back from lunch and jumped in. She just had an Oreo cookie jar mini blizzard. Oh, my goodness. Stop. Even the name of that sounds good uh. from Dairy Queen. Is there, we have to make another post office run this afternoon. Is there a blizzard? Um, is there, you know, is there, well, is there a blizzard? I mean, is there a Dairy Queen? <laughs> is there a Dairy Queen? I don't know. I haven't seen one in a second. Hey, Todd Jenkins. He Rosa said, hey, Lloyd everyone. just ordered her paper. Hi, Todd. Can you make a freestanding card? What's a freestanding card? I'll have to go and look at that. I'll have to go look and is see. Is that what one that, that stands is. up? Let's <laughs> see if it's something I want to do, right? <laughs> a freestanding card. Oh, so crafty. Bill, says, put that down. How do I give a card? thumbs up? On the phone, it's kind of difficult. On the computer, right underneath the video, you'll see these two hands, one with a thumbs up. Someone just did it. I hope it was you. Leslie Kendall says, Tracy, will you better make some artist trading cards? I'll put that, put down. that down. You can do that. Uh, Freestanding cards, artist trading cards. I've seen those. You know what? I think I have a folder on P Pinterest with artist trading cards. I wouldn't mind making some. I think that we can get real fun with those. Um, I'd probably make them out of some kind of... Um, what do y'all use as your... Um, y'all use some kind of just a circle made out of the... The cereal, look, the cereal boxes are going to be artist trading cards, but I've seen artist trading coins also. Have any of y'all tried that? Well, I'm going to tell you the artist trading card queen is Peggy Laurie. Peggy oh, Laurie. Yes. She's on here too. She sure did. Peggy she made Laurie some, is an um, absolute beast, okay? She made some artist trading cards that were just awesome. And she had like a book full of them. So we got to, we had the... Uh, she had hundreds. We were blessed with her artist, some of her artist trading cards. Angela Thompson says, I absolutely love the black and white card. They're all beautiful, but the black and white is my favorite. Tracy, you are so inspiring, and I love watching you. Thank you so much, Angela. They are adorable, aren't they? Yep. This is my 3 o'clock in the morning crafting. Christine Emmerich says, oh, yes, Peggy makes the most awesome ATCs. Christine got some, too. I think Oh, everyone... yeah, we all got them Christine. <laughs> we were killing those it things. It seemed like everybody got um, some of Peggy's. Right, Lisa Chris is right. They look like the size of baseball cards, like little baseball trading cards. Yeah. So do you use the baseball cards, or do you just use... They're like, what, two by two and a half by three... I'll have to go and look it up because I do have, they look so awesome. Um, I just haven't done any yet. 
Angela Thompson says she loves the black and white card. They're beautiful, but the black and white is her Oh, favorite. I just read that. Yeah. There you go. Let's see. Christine Emmerich says they're 2.5 by 3.5. 2.5 by 3.5. Let me get my notebook. All I'm right. I'll write, write that. I'll write that. Okay. Taking notes. You got to scroll up to see. Oh, someone said a shaker card. I'm going to practice a shaker card. Yeah, y'all think I can do a shaker? I, I'm I'm come, I'm somewhat intimidated, although I have been looking at shakers. Just, get the, just get the card and start shaking it. How hard could it be? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you see, don't get my husband started. Take get the card. <laughs> Take the card and shake it. There you go. There's a shaker card. Here you go. <laughs> see, done. <laughs> uh. Ron Marquis says she uses 2.5 and 3.5. She uses boxes. You can also use, also use playing cards. Right, that's what I'm thinking. She has to too. go finish her friend's I'll, 30th anniversary card. I'll end up, you know, I'm going to probably end up using some of the boxes and recycle them and turn them into, um, so do y'all, yeah, y'all sign the back of your artist trading cards too. But people have done some really good, really like just over the top stuff with the, um, the shaker, I mean, not the shaker cards. What am I talking about? I don't know. <laughs> the ATCs. They're like little canvases. Just tiny little canvases, babe. So I have to make some of those. And now I'm going backwards, y'all. Oh, someone said you can use cardstock. Yes, that was Robert okay, Case. Okay. That, that's what we just said. Okay. Yes, Lisa, Lisa Christian says you can use cardstock. Yeah. Christine okay. Emmerich, use the cereal box and put cardstock on either side. Okay, I'll have to I have to do that. Sounds like something right up my alley. But yeah, the shaker card, I have to see what type of shaker card I want to do because I want to be able to teach someone to, to you know, record it and show y'all how to do it. Todd Jenkins says he loves watercolor painting uh, his cards. Anyone else? <laughs> watercolor painting? Exactly. Mm. That sounds like it'd be fun. Yes, that, that standing card is one that can stand on its own. Most of them can stand on their own. Just about. Even this, watch. If I go like this. I already did that. Right? Oh, well, there you go. Okay. <laughs> I'm late, y'all. I'm late. Bill, you... you, you I'm late. Been, like five years come. later, here I come <laughs> with, this, with it. Loretta... Oh, you probably read her. No, card. I haven't. Oh, there's Loretta Swindle says, Your cards are beautiful, Miss Tracy. Glad I was able to catch you. I'm always missing you because of the time. Oh, okay. Yeah, we're trying to do a couple of different times. Well, the problem is with people live in different zones yeah. across the world. And no matter what time you come, it's either it's day, it's morning, or it's night. Except for the chat. The chat stays up 24 hours. <laughs> she doesn't even sleep, okay? Ah, y'all are funny. She has to give us her secret. The chat sorry, what's I the secret to I staying up? I can't sit here and watch this card. 24 hours a day. I can't sit here and watch this card like this. I got to do something with it. Add something else to it, you know? Oh, Eva Freeman says, is the mermaid stamp one of yours? No, it's not. Oh, Eva, you came in. You must have come in late. This, this, These are actually little um, happy notes. Um... Joanne, who's my crafty friend, sent this in happy mail, uh, happy notes to share, and it has all kinds of little notes in it. You can make everyone happy. You're not, huh? Oh, Bill's Bill, Bill like tapping me. I can only do one thing at a time. Be strong, I whispered to my Wi-Fi signal. Be strong. I whispered to my Wi-Fi signal. That's I, funny. I, that's, that's the card I would use. So you sure would. That'd be the first one I pull out of the book. We could give that to Ariel. No, I'll give that one to you. <laughs> uh, yeah, so Ariel, you are beautiful inside and out. So I've been ripping these out and just placing them, making cards around this. And it's so fun because each one is like a little piece of artwork. So nice way to spread happiness. And this comes from naturallife.com. Let's see. What else do we have? Oh, someone said, are y'all going to go live? On Easter oh, or not? Bill, I don't know. 
Mm. Tasha says, are we going to go live on I Easter? I don't know. I'm not sure. We might. Who knows? We'll know as we get closer to it. Yeah, I don't... Lisa Huff mm -hmm. says, hi, Bill and Tracy, you it's to inspire me to create. Oh, I'm so glad. That's that's what it's all about, inspiring each other. Yes, Lupe says, please do some shaker cards. Okay, we'll look them over and see what, you know, that's how I said we. I know, Bill, that means, <laughs> that means me, y'all. Yeah. <laughs> He's saying we, that means me. <laughs> The Super Club says the card, that card reminds her of a vintage card. The one you just did. This one probably. Actually, I like all of them. They all kind of have that look. Naomi Custodio says she loves all the cards. Thank you. Janet Henderson says, hello from Grifton. She actually had a typo. She said something else before that, but hey. Hopefully the first one is, the second one is more truer. Joanne Gilbertson, she said, Tracy, your cards are beautiful. Thank you, Joanne. See, they were sparked by something you sent me. So you sent me happy mail with the happy notes in it. And from there, I'm able to spread all of this and share the wealth because I'm going to be sending these out. Cecilia Anderson says so. She's making a gift basket for some nursing home residents and watching you and Bill. She loves every minute of the video. Now I have some great ideas to add those little pluses. Hopefully you've seen Tracy's gift basket tutorials. That's how she, what she started with when You're thinking she of came doing up a live the, one, huh? Yeah, what came with the channel. The technique or gift basket techniques are absolutely off the chain on this channel. You may have to do they're another off the one. Chain. Yes, they're off the chain. They know what off the chain is. I think that'll be fun. Yes. Off the chain is good stuff. Yes. Hmm. A gift basket live, huh? We need, gift, we need to do a gift basket live. We just tell them early in advance so they can uh, kind of be aware of it. Right. So they can really give us some great ideas and answer questions in real time. That would be fun. I think that would be fun. Tracy, you didn't see and this. And I miss making one, too. Uh, look at this. Uh, see, Cajun Sunshine earlier said, Oh, Bill, when you're flirting with the postmaster, and I said... Cajun sunshines. I choose not to flirt with death. <laughs> <laughs> ah, y'all are funny. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Harvest Burke Center Birmingham says, "Good morning, y'all." Snuck up in on you know, I me mean, because she's a, see a lot of this, a lot of the people are, are night people. Sometimes we're coming on kind of late, we, and we'll have this guilt thing saying, "Man, we we're kind of late." I know. I'm like, so we're Tracy. interrupting dinner, you know? Like, sometimes in the evening, I'm like, nobody wants to watch us. We're just, you know. I was so Tracy. Well, we're <laughs> early to somebody, somewhere. I know, right? Jamie Cumbie says, I love to watch you work. You taught me the napkin crafts. Oh, I'm so glad you like that. Oh, you know what? Pass me that um, little Easter egg napkin. I think I might have to do a card like this and then have you and try it, babe. Maybe something like this. Well, they have go. Bill. Have Bill. I'll make one and then show Bill how to make. Yeah, one. show me how to do that. Yeah. Because this only costs seventy four cents. Is that all? Right. So you get how many? This is like sixteen, sixteen napkins. But I bet you can probably. Let me just see. Gina Coley says, hi from the UK. I Yay. love watching your tutorials. I've been making your flowers out of the one-inch circle punch making the petals. Thank you for oh, the nice. inspiration. Thank you for watching, Gina. All the way from the UK? From the UK. I just want to look what at the UK what mean? Back in the United Upper Kingdom, babe. King oh, United Kingdom. There oh, you go, goodness. okay? You're scaring me, babe. Well, people say UK. I just thought that was the name of it. <laughs> Ooh! Y'all know what I did, So look, you can make four cards out of this. You can make four cards. Tracy, tell, tell, tell them about the phone. Tell them I'm about the phone. I'm not going to tell them. I this can't tell y'all. This is crazy, y'all. I'm not going to tell y'all. I'm not throwing my husband under the craft table today. Is, I will not throw my husband. He wants me to tell y'all. This though, is but crazy, y'all. <laughs> my age is showing up, okay? What does the UK mean? That scares me in Hold itself. Up. Okay? <laughs> Hold up. Hold up. I consider myself to be technical. Technologically savvy, right? We're switching phone services, and uh, we're in the phone place. And she says, "Okay, what's your daughter's phone number?" 
I said, let me look. And I and I and I got my phone and I called my daughter and I said, hey, what's your phone number? <laughs> <laughs> and then he wrote it down. And so I'm looking at him, I'm like, well, he's calling Ariel to ask her what her phone number is, and he's writing it down. And I'm like, wasn't the phone number in your phone? <laughs> it just, I just couldn't. The lady in the in the phone um, at the at the T Mobile, she was looking at us like, "Oh my goodness!" And Tracy was standing to the side. She slid over a, a step as, I if, was as if to say, laughing. He, like she was saying, "He's not with me." <laughs> she started looking around. I started like, laughing, and, and then the inch, lady inch off. The lady who was helping us, Erin. Erin is her name. She was so nice. It, it, she started cracking up too because she was like. <laughs> He's calling his daughter's phone <laughs> to ask her what her phone number is. But afterwards, I said, yeah, that's right. Just like, for instance, the UK. Now, I know that UK means United Kingdom. But for some reason, my mind, it just, I can't even explain it. <sighs> oh, my exactly. goodness. Exactly. Karen Lewis understands the OG. That's it. Oh, my goodness. Yasmin, how are you doing? <laughs> oh, my goodness. I was just like. He's not doing that. No, Bill. Please. After you said that, so, yeah, that's right. I can't do she's that. She's like, we need your daughter's number. So he's like, and okay, hold on one moment. I thought I was being real. <laughs> he's like, hold on one moment. Ooh. Ariel, what's your phone number? <laughs> I'm like, huh? <laughs> Susan Seward says not like something her husband would do. <laughs> oh, 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 so crafty says UK is United Kingdom unless you live in Kentucky. But if you live in Kentucky, it means basketball. You know what? Well, there you go. <laughs> oh, so crafty is not lying. Let me tell you something. Kentucky used to be synonymous with basketball. When you even thought about basketball, the first thing you thought about was Kentucky. That's how ridiculously awesome they were mm. in basketball for that particular era. It, the teams seemed to have eras. Like back in the day, it was UCLA when they had uh, Lou Alcindor, who became Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, and then Bill Walton for about... 10 years straight. That's how it works. This coming from the man who dials his, dials his daughter's number. <laughs> I'm sorry. I couldn't help it. I just have to keep. <laughs> and I didn't want to say anything. I didn't want to say anything in front of. I was hoping that no one else would catch hey, on. <laughs> Princess Nueva says, that's not looking for glasses that are on your face. I tell you what I, I, tell you what I have done. And I bet you everybody uh, in here has done. How many people have been just just looking for their phone feverishly, <laughs> looking everywhere, and the phone is in your hand. It's in your hand, and you're looking, and you actually get well, upset. Well, you're on the phone looking for your phone. Yeah, I'm, I'm, where's my phone? <gasps> where's my phone? It's in your hand. Oh, my goodness. That's like me calling you to ask you. <laughs> Kara Watson says on top of your head looking for glasses. <laughs> We're all in the same age bracket. <laughs> good. I'm glad y'all are, are all. We can share that story and have a good laugh. Yeah, you know? all of us are guilty. So <sighs> it's not just me. Not me. I have never called yes, somebody. Yes, you have. You've done it. I felt it. About what? The phone? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I have never you've called done one you of these, though. to ask you for your. But you've done something with the glasses of one of these things <sighs> right here, okay? Y'all are Hold up. What does limbo mean? Limbo. Yeah. <laughs> stuff like the that. is giving me a new... my butt off. Oh, Bill. That's okay. That's laughing my butt off. I was going to say... It's like Rolfing. Oh, I never heard of Limbo. I thought it was... I don't know what I thought it was. <laughs> you thought you were asking him to do Limbo? I don't know what... I said Limbo? What is Limbo? Oh, oh my goodness. <sighs> <laughs> Exactly. Oh, so Kathy, see, I have called my daughter to see if she has seen my phone. I'm going to tell you what Tracy does. Stop, Tracy, stop. she's notorious for cutting off the <laughs> ringer, then misplacing her phone. They're like, has anyone seen my phone? <laughs> and we call it, and it gets nothing. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> well, There's uh, no way you can call it. The ringer is on. I know, Sherry, my belly muscles are going to hurt, and he's going to make me pull my back well, out At least again. you have belly muscles, okay? <laughs> I just have Look, belly. Cece said, Cece Anderson says, she said, I needed that laugh. Right, so. Sherry, she says, her <laughs> husband does that. It would be on silent. Exactly. <laughs> now, how do you expect me to find the phone? The thing is all, yeah, it's on silent. <sighs> how about oh this? Goodness. Oh, the phone runs out of power. Oh, my God. Mm -hmm. 
I almost bought a phone one time. Oh, I Because it ran out of power. I couldn't find it. Mm. You, I'm going to tell you the weirdest thing I heard. <laughs> Mike Tyson, he was so wealthy, so rich at the time. Now, this is a little too rich for me. He had a Rolls Royce, a $400,000 Rolls, Rolls Royce. He's driving down the highway, and it just stopped on the side of the road. He was so pissed off. He, uh, he calls a taxi and went to a Rolls Royce dealership to buy another one. And he bought another one. But guess what the problem was with the Rolls Royce, the original one? That was brand new, practically. It ran out of gas. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> ran out of gas. But oh, I'm so boy. rich, I can say, you know what? I just buy another $400,000 Rolls Royce. <laughs> Susan Stewart, I'm still cracking up, okay? I'm still cracking up. <laughs> Taz Holder says her mom would ask us, her kids, I need a pen, but she would... She would have a handful in her hair. <laughs> uh, in her hair bun, like when you put the pen. Oh, yeah. yeah well, I wouldn't hair, know nothing about that. No, you wouldn't. I have bald. Yeah, so you're bald. Okay. If you see a pen in my head, you'd best call the yeah, emergency <laughs> room, okay? Uh. <laughs> but chat is talking about LOL. What are you doing up, LaChat? What are you? LaChat <laughs> never sleeps. But Chad, what time is it where you are? I just don't believe what Chad is up. Mm, mm, mm. Bill, you don't have to tell the ask the chat what time it I is. I do. I have to. You know. don't have to type it in. You already asked him. Oh, I did. But... <laughs> See, stuff like that. <laughs> ah. Stuff like that. You know. <laughs> Carol Watson says <sighs> her husband was looking for his key ring clip and it was on his belt. The whole time? Oh my goodness. You know what? Bill asked me like where everything is and I'm like, oh, I don't know where it Jessica is. Jessica McKenzie, when you get to this point, you have just went to a whole other place. Where are your glasses, but you're wearing them. <laughs> That's when it's pretty bad, okay? Uh-oh, UPS truck. Did we order something? I don't know. Look, we're looking out the window, y'all. There's a where UPS truck over there. I don't think oh, it's my us. Goodness. <sighs> Yasmin says it's in Egypt. It is 7.40 p.m. Oh, okay. It's around dinner time. Exactly. Okay, so, Bill? Loretta was... Swindle, Swindle says it's 10.30 there. Here, where we are in Atlanta, it's 1.38 p.m. <laughs> oh, I love that. What Miss Super Chat says. Miss Super Clutz. Miss Super Chat. Miss Super Chat. Miss <laughs> Super Chat. I'm changing. Miss Super Chat. <laughs> Miss Super Chat. Miss okay? Super Clutz. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Wait, uh, Bill, you got to read her. Oh, uh, I am. Miss <laughs> <laughs> <Ms>. Super Chat. <sighs> Y'all are funny. Yasmin said they have already finished dinner. Well, hopefully we didn't make you bring it back up all this laughing and carrying on. Have a great day, Joanne. Joanne is leaving us. Who's, who's leaving us? Joanne Gilbertson. Come back, Joanne. You're going to call Miss Super Clutz, Miss Super Chat. <laughs> <sighs> okay, Tasha. We probably need to get out of here, too. Yeah, because we got to go make this post office run so Bill can socialize with everyone in line and the postal workers. So they love to see us coming. Joanna Gerberson has to go to work. Oh. All right, y'all. The chat says it is 740 in Europe and 640 in something that Tracy just rolled off on. It's 6.40 p.m. in the U.K. Yes, we're going to get that, that that blizzard thing. I don't know if there's a... Look, I'm... Look, we're going to find something out here. Somebody got that. started something now. I'm going to have to put Eva it Freeman, in, in Google. We'll have to get it on the way to the... Uh, or when we finish at the post office, we need to get... It has to be a Dairy Queen close to us in... Um, Austell, Mableton area, right? 
Exactly. It's got to be something. Look, Carol Watson says, it's Oreo Blizzard time. It sure is. Miss Superflex said we should be Dr. Dr. Tracy and Dr. Bill. Where's that at? She said, because laughter is the best medicine. You and, just and then you renamed her after that. Thank you. I know, all right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, y'all, we're going to go ahead and sign off. It has been wonderful. It's always fun to come on and, and laugh with y'all and just have a good time, right? And so I've got my work cut out for me because <laughs> Bill has a list of stuff for me to do. Exactly. <laughs> Miss Superclub says she almost fell off, fall off my chair laughing. <laughs> oh, y'all are too funny. Oh, oh, so crafty. Thanks for watching our videos. Bye, my crafty family. We'll see you soon. Bye.